In this video, we're going to talk about creating an email address. Now that you have your website, you have it hosted, you may want an email address for your particular website. Now using a Yahoo or a Gmail account can come across as unprofessional when trying to build a solid business. So the best way to look professional and really keep your brand is to create an email using your website URL in the email address. So we're going to talk about creating email and then accessing your webmail through your, your either online or through your cPanel, however you choose to do so. So let's go ahead and head over to cPanel. We'll go ahead and create an email. So inside of cPanel, you can see that here I have email accounts. I'm just going to go ahead and click on that. Now what I'm going to do is create an email called info at online marketing tutorial videos dot com. I'll put in a little password so that it's password protected. I will click unlimited so that I can have an unlimited email account and I'll go ahead and create my account. And that's it. That's as simple as it is. Now I have an email called info at online marketing tutorial videos dot com. I'm also while I'm here going to click a support email. Now support email will allow me to send this out, use my contact form. Uh, that it goes right to my support email in case there's anything wrong with any of my videos or my business it's a very common email to send to support and then you have your professional URL extension right here so let me go ahead and create that account alright so I have a couple of emails now uh, set up for my business so what I can do here through my my cPanel I can hit the more button and then access the webmail. Now webmail will allow me to let me go ahead and confirm my security exception here. Webmail will allow me to view my email online at any time. I can log into my cPanel, I can access my webmail and I can simply use any one of these. Squirrel mail, round cube or hoard. I can go ahead and read mail using hoard. So let me click on that. Now inside of here you'll see I have my inbox, I've got my calendar, my mail, my address book. I can make a new content. This is where I will access my email. Now let's just say for example you don't want to log in to cPanel every time to access your mail. All you have to do is type in your URL in your browser forward slash webmail hit enter and that should prompt you with your username and your password. In this case my username will be my email address Okay, and there you go. I've got a lot of RoboForm stuff going on because it wants to save all of my emails and all my passwords. So just like that, I've logged into my webmail and I can go ahead and access it at any time through any web browser. Okay, pretty cool, right? Now, let's just say I have a main email that I always check and I do this a lot with my main email usually it goes to support at davidcisneros.com all of my support emails go there so when I build new websites I simply set up a forwarding option so that any support emails that I get sent to this email address will automatically forward to my main email so to do this I basically type in the email address here that I want to forward to. 
I add my forwarder and it's all done. So I can have this sent directly to davidcisneros.com. I can add the forwarder and just like that, I have my email forwarded to my main account. Okay, so let me go to forwarding options. Now you can see that if I no longer want this to happen, I very simply click delete, delete the forwarder, and now it's gone. Okay, so now I have this standalone email. Now, if you use a set up like Outlook Express or Outlook or you want to configure an you know an additional there's a ton of them out there where you access your email through a particular software you would go here to configure your mail client and this will give you all the details that you need as far as ports and pop threes and outgoing servers and all the setup that you would need now, I'm not going to go through a detailed explanation of how this works because it really depends on which software you're using to access your emails. And it also depends on whether you're using a secure connection or a non-secure connection. So it's really hard for me to, to have, an e or have a video and cover all that in detail. But that being said, we've created an email address. You now know how to access your, your webmail. And those are two essential parts of having an online business. You got to have a good branded email. So thanks for watching this video. We'll see you in the next one.